I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? I'll let you and your niece stay in my place. I'll stay in the car up front. No, no, we can't stay here. It'll be fine. No, I'll clean it up. There's no Don't way worry in hell about we it. can stay here. No. I'll clean it for you. Who the hell are you? What the hell are you doing in my house? This is my universe. I will kill you. I will eliminate all of the people like you that have ruined this planet. You are done! No, you are done! I'm done? Done! I really, really hate this man. I hate this Neil Breen motherfucker. There's another paid request from Marv B. I appreciate that. If anyone wants to request pretty much anything, if it's a review, if it's a topic, if it's a reaction, if it's a randomness, if it's a re-review, you just send either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. Neil Brain, he directed this film, he starred in this film, he's done other films, I've reviewed some of his other films. I understand people enjoy him, and it's so bad it's good, it's laughable. Come on, Matt, you shouldn't take it seriously. And there are bad films I enjoy, from Samurai Cop to Sayonara Daily Night Part 2 to Hard Ticket to Hawaii. But this stuff is fun to me. It's fun, but as fun as going to the fucking dentist. It's about as fun as if someone took a fucking needle and put it in my pee hole. That's how fucking fun it is. Because... I hate this motherfucker. He's the type that makes you eat dimes and shit out nickels. He's the type that will make you drink gasoline and somehow you piss out vinegar. I just, the motherfucking fact that this goddamn guy can continue to get movies, continue to get financing, continue to get fucking product out there when so many fucking directors cannot get a job. That they make a pretty damn good movie. And then they just dis a fucking peer into the fucking stratosphere. I think that's fucking sad. There's a lot of directors of these films that went straight to video. Or, or unknown. Or unseen. Or not even on fucking DVD. And they only did one film and they never did one again. Maybe for... from Because of their own volition. Maybe because of their own choice. Or maybe because they got black, bald, black male, black... Black balls. Someone put balls in their mouth and then staple them shut. I don't know. Bad direction, bad writing, bad acting, and most of all, it's pretentious as fuck. Every Neil Brain film is pretentious as fuck, only you're in the pretension mind of a madman, of a crazy person. This person is legitimately crazy. He belongs in the fucking loony farm. He's probably the type of guy that does finger pain with his own shit. And thinks it's... He's building the Sistine Chapel. At least films like Samurai Cop, they're bad. 
but they're trying with, you know, superficial, let's have some action, let's have some tits, let's have some this and that. Same with Hard Ticket to Hawaii. Silent Night, Daily Night Part 2, most of it is flashback to the first film, but at least Eric Freeman, it's a bad performance, but man, it's an energetic performance, and it's a fun performance, and it's a... His eyebrows do more acting than Neil Breen does in every fucking film he's done combined. He makes the guy who did The Room look like Martin fucking Scorsese. And he's the worst actor I've ever seen. He's the worst director I've ever seen. Uwe Boll is even a better director than this guy. Alone in the Dark is a piece of shit. House of the Dead is a piece of shit. And there's still better movies than Neil Breen's films. And a lot of times they're just fucking boring. Because there's almost so much nonsense you take and bad acting you take and then they go on for 80, 90, 100 minutes, you know. It's bad acting once again. You either have people shout and yell out their dialogue or saying the most nonsensical shit like, I'm an AI from the future. I'm going to kill 300 million people. And he does. And he's the good guy. Leo Brain plays a good guy who comes from the future, AI intelligence, and he kills 300 million people to the point that there's a shot, a bad shot, with him and this girl walking through the desert and superimposes million, millions of fucking dead people on either side. But yet he's like, let's lead a revolt to the politicians. Who? You just killed 300 million people. You just killed all the bad guys. So lead a revolt against who? The ants? The roaches? Is Are the roaches now the politicians? Because that's who all this fucking left. You just said you killed 300 million people. Bad people at that. You genocidal asshole. I mean, there's a motherfucker that at the end of the film, he can't afford buildings to go into he literally has to green screen the inside of buildings ultras are rich yeah because that's something you will never be but uh, apparently i just lied because somebody gets fucking funding and people fund him sometimes that's the thing some of this stuff is kickstarter shit and go fund me shit oh this one guy wanted to do a Raphael Ninja Turtle fan film R-rated to tell an interesting story of his exile. That can't get funded. But this motherfucker get his fucking films funded and made with the beginning of the film. I, it's in the goddamn desert and just randomly a fucking tiger just appears. Fades in. A fucking tiger. Why? Just because there's no explanation, just it's the desert and a tiger just fades in. Then there's cave paintings and a caveman's arm. Not the caveman, a caveman's arm is painting it. And then Neil Breen's in the middle of the desert and he, he gets paid to clean the area. So he picks up like five pieces of trash and cups. Meanwhile, you have a bunch of drug guys. No, a bunch of guys with immigration. Like they're getting people, they're coyotes, you know, they get people over the border. Wait a minute, what do you have? And they piss poorly hide drugs. This pregnant woman hides drugs and she's not pregnant. And when she, the drugs drop, she goes. <laughs> Neil Breen, he's a drug user. But the way he takes drugs is he literally takes the needle and he sprays the drug on his skin. I guess that makes you high too. I didn't know. Uh, I just said, there you go. I guess I'm high too, Neil Breen. Yep, I guess I'm high too. And he overdoses, he dies, but then his spirit comes out. But I guess his spirit is the AI intelligence. Was this the AI intelligence? From the future? But he was taking drugs? But Or he took his body. Maybe the, he became a spirit and AI intelligence took the, the body? I don't fucking know. He'll go in and out of rocks for some reason. Uh... Of the immigration group, two women leave, run away. The guy shoots some point blank range, but some of they avoided the bullets, so maybe they're part Neo. And then one of the girls yells out her dialogue Your mother's my sister. She was murdered. I swear to God, I take care of you. She just screams her dialogue. And I'm like, Shut the fuck up, bitch. Put a cock in your mouth and smile. Please, put a cock in your mouth and let it live there forever. Four decades, four centuries. 
And you have shit like, there's one point, these other people getting put into the back of a truck, and they're just screaming, eh, and like, they don't try to run, they don't try to hit the door, they barely look alarmed, but they're screaming. Like, I'm so alarmed, look, but I'm like, ah, 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 <clears throat> And the one fucking guy, he's trying to close the door, and he can't get the fucking door closed. There's a point where Neil Brain has his hand on the rock. The rock that we saw earlier that the caveman arm is doing cave paintings. Do we see that caveman again? No. Is there any interpretation or dialogue or talk of that caveman? No. It's just there because Neil Breen said so. So he presses his hand on a rock. And then next shot, he's in a green screen with the snow in the background. And he's string, green screen with a tiger in front of him. Like, here's green screen. Then here's this green string tiger. It's not even the same tiger. I think this tiger is different color. I think it's a white tiger. And then earlier was a not a white tiger. I I don't remember. But the background is snow. I'm like, so did you tell you teleported to the Arctic and then somehow this tiger teleported to the Arctic? Was this tiger your spirit animal? Is it animality? More Combat Annihilation is even better, you stupid fucking movie. I'd rather watch More Combat Annihilation 800 fucking times in a row than watch another one, you goddamn piece of fucking bumfuck, contemplative, pretentious, boring, confusing, muddled, idiotic, incompetent shit. I took a shit. I took a picture. I made a better movie than Neil Breen. There are people that make fan films. There are people that make no films that did a better job. I didn't make a film. I still make a film better than Neil Breen. Take one of my fucking shitty reviews. They're a better movie than Neil Breen. I didn't have to... The fact that, again, this guy keeps making movies. He gets the money. How does he get the money? Why do people fund him? Why do people give him money on Kickstarter, Indiegogo, whatever? Why? And these, these films get... This film has like a five point something I'm to be. I dare to you, I do find a DVD of this. Oh, these films did three point something or four point something on I'm to be. They can't find a fucking DVD worth of shit, except this out of print on one disc, VHS quality and shitty full screen. And gets like a three point something on that. At least this one does. On IMDb. And that's what I'm talking about. Films like that. that are actually fucking films. With merit. Yeah they're low budget. Yeah they're creature features. And they're not. They're not aliens. But they're entertaining. They're fun. And they're a hell lot better than this. That's why I get mad at film like this. At Neil Breen. So yeah, he explains that he's from the future. He's going to kill 300 million people for the better of humankind. Just, you know, logic. And then these those two girls that escaped earlier. The teens, they find Neil Breen. And like, what's your name? So this guy looks at a package with light on it. And he goes, my name is Till. T-H-G-I-L. It's pronounced Till. And then five minutes later, the girl's like, Oh, wait a minute. You Till, your name is Light. L-I-G-H-T. Light. I'm like, no shit. The guy spelled T-H-G-I-L. Who the fuck spells Till with a G? And then, like, Neil Breen, he'll talk about who he is and how you see this, and it looks like a giant hot dog. But it's, you see this, this is well, I'm million, millions of light years away. And I can manipulate space, time, energy, dark matter, dark energy, quantum physics, stream theory. Yeah, you can also manipulate fraggle rock, air guitar, pet rocks, sea monkeys, sharp sticks, and fucking bricks. I'll go and touch the webcam, but I ain't fucking my webcam for this motherfucker. You're going overboard. No, I'm not. I'm going underboard. I'm underwater. I'm drowning in shit. That's what Neil Breen is. Shit. I'm, I'm overboard. I'm underboard. 
and a fucking microphone. God damn it. Just to the bad guys. The one, uh, this black chick, you're done, and she's like, and then he's like, no, you're done, you're done, no, you're done, and then I guess he snaps his finger, so he's fucking Thanos, That's, he's fucking Thanos, so if you want to see Thanos as an actual good guy, here you go, Neil Brain did that before the Avengers, Infinity War, there you go, he's Thanos, he does a snap and people disappear, <laughs> but he's a good guy. And then, like, he, he'll he go into these parties where, again, they can't shoot in an actual fucking room. They literally have to green screen a building, the inside of a building, and then people are inside the green screen. The fact that, what the fuck did you use this money for if you can't even film inside an actual fucking building? You get a building. You dress it up. And then when you need to shoot another scene, you need to take the same building and dress it up differently. But no, it's gotta be green screen. He goes to a party and they say something asshole go, you can't, uh, isn't that corrupt? Isn't that immoral? I don't know. Is it not corrupt to kill 300 million fucking people? But they're bad people. Well, you know what? So what if this... Some of them steal a candy bar and then they're evil. There's no way for reform. Now if it's murderers and rapists and child molesters and pedophiles. I can understand that. But if they stole a purse. Or they stole a handbag. Or they stole a candy bar. Or they stole a virginity. And it was consensual. Uh, no I don't think they deserve to be wiped out of existence. 300 million people is a lot of fucking people. And then again he's like. You guys must, you immigrants, must go back to your country. Okay, so are you racist too? You must go back to your country. And you must revolt against your politicians. But I thought you just killed 300 million people. I thought you just killed all the bad guys. Who, who, what politicians are they revolting against if you kill over 300 million people? Didn't you say that because you wanted to kill all the bad people? You want to kill all the bad people, we don't leave all the politicians. Why? You're killing 300 million people, but you don't leave the politicians for you. <sighs> Why are you not actually yelling? Because I don't want to blow up my fucking voice. I've done that in the past where I actually did yell. Like back in the day when I really was yelling. I don't do that much because then afterward my voice is blown out. I'm like, I'm not doing that again because I'm going to be a bit smarter. Just fuck people like Neil Breen trying to get me to lose my fucking voice for real. I don't blame Marv B for requesting this. I blame Neil Breen for existing. This is a guy that makes me wish for Steven Seagal films. That's how fucking bad Neil Breen is. I would rather watch every piece of shit directed video Steven Seagal film than watch a single Neil Breen film again. That's how much I despise this guy. And as a person, I don't know him as a person. As a director, he's an insult to the word direction. He's an insult to the word writing. He's an insult to the word filmmaking. Because again, I see so many other better directors, better movies, better stuff that do not get the funding. That do not get talked about. That do not get a cult following of people. And I'm sorry, I'm tired of... No, I'm not going to praise... It's one thing that they made one film, they fucked up, and... Hey, Uwe Boll gets trashed, and he deserves it. This motherfucker deserves it too. To put him on a pedestal of badness, when he's a worse filmmaker than Uwe Boll... He doesn't deserve it, I'm sorry. He doesn't get better, he doesn't learn... So I'm not going to give him the fucking time of day. It's one thing. Oh, I did a horrible first film. He did a horrible second film. He's done like six, seven films now. And they're the same shitty quality. Confusing, muddled, uh, incompetent, idiotic, and fucking stupid. 
just with some of the most piss poor, lazy effects. And that's why I think of these films, lazy. Samurai Cop is bad, but I would not call it lazy. Hard to get to Hawaii. Sound of Dylan Part 2's Eric Freeman's performance. It's a bad it's a bad performance, but it's a very fun. And it's not a lazy performance. I don't I call that a fun, bad performance, but it's not lazy. Eric Freeman, he's trying, I don't know what the fuck he was trying for, but he's trying, hey, Doc, garbage day. Like, he's trying, there's energy. Neil Breen's like, hello, I am from the future. I am of AI intelligence. He, I'm sorry, he doesn't try. He's lazy. And he's fucking boring. His performances are boring. And then of the 300 million people he killed, he didn't kill one of the teen girl's abusive boyfriend. I'm like, wow. And then he just stands there and lets this guy shoot her in the head. Then he does something. And then he just can bring people back to life. Well, I'm sure the girl wanted you to do that or do something before you let her get shot in the fucking head. But then he brings her, and then I guess he's going to take her to the future. And then at times you see this fucking annoying red dot on the screen, and there's a good moment I'm like, what the fuck is that red dot? Did someone just leave a fucking, is someone trying to make a cat go crazy? Where the fuck is this red dot from? Where did this red dot come from? Where the red dot goes, you bang. I don't know. It's like, oh, just this random red fucking dot appears. I just, I, I hate Neil Breen. I hate his movies. He is the worst filmmaker, the worst actor, the worst person. I, I don't even want to call these films. I mean, they are the worst films I've seen Neil Breen films. Because the fact of, again, I've seen a lot of bad films, Feeders, Feeders 2, stuff like But this stuff... It's insultingly bad to me. It's insulting. Even as a fan of sometimes bad filmmaking. This is lazy bad filmmaking. This is in incompetence to an nth degree. This is someone who's not trying. And he's pretentious. That's also makes it worse. And he's boring. So fuck Neil Breen. And fuck his movies. And but here's the thing. No one else is going to say that. Because oh it's bad. But it's no. Maybe if he has one individual. Tell him the real shit. Be real to his face. Then maybe. He can try to be better. Hey there's an alcoholic. We're just going to laugh at him. No I'm going to be the guy to go. You're a fucking alcoholic. Clean up. Sober up. Or ship out. The laughs, the giggles, or hoo hoo has is over. Shape up or ship out. Sh sober up or leave us the fuck alone. And if no one else is going to do it, then I'm going to fucking do it. But I'm a nobody, so it's not like I exist in his peripheral. Get people who know how to act, have strips that actually make a lick of sense, that has an actual direction. Don't just, here, here's some random kids poorly acting with this old scientist guy in a wheelchair that honestly you could edit all their scenes out and it would not make a lick of difference. Have people not just yell out their dialogue, actually direct. Hey, tone it down. Be more natural. None of this acting is natural. Get some effects. If you can't do it, don't do it. See you guys later. Bye-bye.